Hi, hello to another tutorial for Inventor Pro. I will do the Kreutz Griff which I did before in KDE V5 and in um, Siemens NX and I will do it in a sort of complicated way just to show you how you can do it or what you can achieve. So let's start with a 2D sketch on that plane. I need an arc something like that. Then I want to make these points vertical, vertical and give it some dimension. This one is 160. Yep. And from here to this point it's 90. Then I need some lines. One line here. Restart another line here. Restart maybe right here. Restart one line. Restart and OK. Some constraints. So now this point should be on that line. This point should be on that line. There should be dimension. This should be 60. That one should be 60 as well. And this should go up here. The angle should be 86. Yes, and then I need a dimension between this point and there should be another point. So I will set a point and make it on that and on that line. Now I can do a dimension between these two points which should be 15. Okay. So maybe I move it up a little bit and like this and like that it doesn't work. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, of course. That's the center point of the radius, so, but I could move this up. Yeah, and I could move this up a little bit, like this, and maybe that over here. And I could align that point and that point. Oh, it's already aligned. Okay, so let's finish the sketch. I intentionally did not trim the sketch because if I trim it, I cannot select the lines separately. But now I can select them separately and I can do make separate surfaces. 
So I start with extrude with that line, make it 100, and make it visible. Okay. Maybe I change the visual, visual style to shader with edges. Then I want to do some revolves. Revolve with this one. Axis should be the Y axis, yes, and it should be an angle 90 degrees, yes. And again, revolve with this line. Axis, same as before. Make it an angle, okay. Then I need another revolve with this line and that axis again, an angle, and okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's okay. Now I want to trim it, so I go for trim. The tool should be this plane, and then I want to remove this and that. But that's not possible, so I remove just this. I repeat trim surface. Again, this tool, this should be removed. Okay. And again, that's the tool. This should be removed. Okay, repeat trim surface. That's the tool that should be removed. Okay, and again, repeat trim surface. The cutting tool is this one. That should be removed. Okay, and again, that's the cut tool and that should be removed. Okay. Yes. Maybe I hide the sketch. I need another sketch. On this plane. Just a line and another line. Slice graphics, 3D model, sketch, here's the sketch, I need some dimensions, that's 10, that's also 10, give it dimension maybe 60, another dimension maybe 62, finish the sketch, Make an extrude. Okay. Now make a fillet, which is 20. Okay. And now trim again, maybe stitch these together. Before. done and then trim that's the tool that should be removed and again this is the tool that should be removed okay stitch it together okay now let's make some fillets. 10 on this edge, that edge, okay, another fillet, 3 on this edge, that one, and this one, okay, 
And now I want to mirror it. So I go to mirror, select the surface, the fillet and the other fillet, mirror plane, this one, okay. Another mirror features should be the mirror with a little stitch surface. Yes, all together, that's okay. Mirror plane is in this case that plane and okay. Yes, now stitch them together. Stitch one, two, three, four, and apply and done. And I'm done. Thanks for your kind attention. Bye.